Readings and welcome back to another Hearthstone deck video. We have a brand new Renal Priest deck today that should give you a lot of joy. So we're not playing the dragons in this Renal Priest one, but we're going for the inspired version. A similar version was played by Brian Kibler a few days ago. So we have a lot of lots of healing, so you can go into the end game, and in the end game, you will have high value cards like the Nexus Champion Tharat that will give you a random spell when you inspire. You have the Kodo Rider that will summon a 3-5 War Kodo. You have the Confessor Politris that will summon a random legendary minion. A lot of strong inspire cards and because of Rather the Chained your hero power should cost in the late game zero. Plus you can use your hero power uh, more often if you have the garrison commander on the board so you can then use the hero power twice so inspiring twice which is great we also run the auction master beardo that will allow you to um, use your hero power even more times if you have spells in hand so if you for example have the nexus champion Zarad on the board that will there he is that will spawn a random spell for you then you have the free hero power and you get some cheap spells out of the Nexus Champion. You can then play the spells and with the Auction Master Beardo on the board, your hero power will always refresh. So it is possible to play your hero power three, four, or even five times if you get the right spells. That is really amazing. The rest of the deck is just so that you can get into the mid to late game and get your high value cards out there. It's working greatly against more aggressive decks Especially if you can start with the Potion of Madness. Then if your opponent is dropping a Pirate and Patches for example, you can just kill his board instantly on the first turn, which is great. Uh, other than that, the deck is working really good for me. So we will now see the deck in action. We will play some games with it and hopefully get some nice combos out of there. So let's go. Our first game is against the Shaman, so potentially a very aggressive matchup. Uh, we definitely need to redraw here. Uh, probably keeping the Kalakos might be fine. Yeah, let's do that. That's always a very strong. The rest of the cards here is not great. Can't use the Shadow Firm Orleon against the Shaman. That is too devastating. Luckily he's not playing anything on his first turn, so a bit slower start than usual. Not a pirate there, not a tunnel truck, and not a spirit claws. And only the hero bar, so that's a very slow start. Which is really good for us. Dutch Alchemist, can't do much right now. I want to use Holy Smite just on the small totem, so that's a dangerous one. Just another totem. Stone claw it is. Ah, oh, there's Winnie Jackson. So we are more or less safe now. And then we should be able to develop a nice little board. That's a faceless, strong unit. Ah, look at the top deck. That was really good. Otherwise I would have played the Carlacus here. And hope to find a nice 5 mana potion that we can play that next turn. But the Shadow of Death is of course the better card in this situation. The face is down, he is getting overloaded for 2. Play a Tunnel Talk here. And maybe the Jade Claws of oh, Flame Tongue is this. Greater Healing Potion, that's also a nice card. We will go for the Karlakos. Taking the 5 mana spell and hope to find 4 damage on every unit. Oh yeah, the Felblom, there you go. And we will also take... Summon 2 friendly minions. Uh, currently we only have Karthakos played. We can draw 2 cards, we can play the Shadow Oil. But I guess we are taking... We have currently 4, 6, 8 cards in hand. So we will take the King's Blood. Probably need to play the coin then as well. Otherwise we have too many cards in hand. Maybe he is playing... Maybe he is playing the um, thing from below now. Or we might play the Holy Smite alongside. 
Hopefully that's not the case. They will trade. Ward is still strong, but we could also wait a bit here. Let's see, so now we have 4, 6, 8, 10 cards in hand. We definitely would need to play the coin if we play the Cardacus Potion. Mm, yeah. Well, let's clear the board for now. So we draw two cards. Getting the Biro and the Cabal Talon Priest. We will drop the Loot Hoarder here. Hopefully he's not killing that right away, otherwise we would overdraw for one. As a Drake. And oh, he's just getting another totem. Oh, that is really good. Take a little bit of pain. Uh, so we definitely take out the Drake. We need to play a unit first. Not much to do, just more and more draw. Oh, probably going for the Alchemist. Should be fine. Let's draw another card. See what we can get. Shadow with Pain, that is good. Holy Smite on the Drake, but that one is going down. I have a really strong hand currently. So much value. Rather, the Shane would be wonderful, so we can play the Palitras here and have a free hero power. Talentrock, another totem. Here comes the Jade Lightning. And. Little trait. So not a strong board. Six cards in hand. We have the Dragonfire Potion, which is really good. Oh, what should we do? So much to play. Could use the Shadow at Pain on the Tunnel Talk. That would be an option. But Tunnel Talk right now is not that strong. What is mm, but still. Well, let's do that. We're also dropping the Echo of Pain. And let's use the Cabal Talon Priest to get a stronger board. And we can draw more cards with the Echo of Pain then. If he's not using a hex on that. But if he is using a hex on the Acolyte, he is missing that for the stronger unit that we are dropping late in the game. So that wouldn't be the worst. Second Drake on the board. This one could be a pain because it is not dying to a Dragonfire Potion. Lightning Bolt, Kapal Talon Priest is going down. Oh, and we also see a hex here. He's missing that hex now. For example, for the Vanas, if we drop that, there is an Entom. Uh, so we could use that. But I guess going for the Vanas right now is a bit stronger. Let's go back to full life. So we might see a trade here, then we can steal a unit, and then we see if we play the Entom or not. Jade Spirits. We could even play the Dragonfire Potion now and steal the Drake. That would be a cool move as well, I would say. Drake is definitely a nice card. And we can clear the board anyway. Hmm, Thought Steal. Yeah, let's play the Thought Steal first. Maybe we get another nice card here. You never know. Ah, yeah, Black Paw and the Water Speaker. Decent cards. Let's steal the Drake. Thank you for that. So that means the Aya Black Paw is currently not in his hand. Jade Chieftain. 3-3 three, three on the board. And the Flame Tongue Totem. Okay, we are just going to trade. Just going to trade here. And we're dropping the Aya Black Paw. Four. And we're also using the water speaker to heal back to 26. Still not in trouble. We have so much healing in hand. Another problem if he's dropping strong unit, we'll just steal that. Jade Claws have the four Fauna on the board. Lightning Ball, so we will spawn a 2 2 Jade Golem. 
And he's just going for the face. Because why not? Oh, rather the chained. So free hero power. That's definitely good. Definitely want to kill the flame tongue totem. And we might now go into the shadow form. We still have Reno Jackson, we still have the greater healing potion, so we have enough healing. And getting some some extra damage in is definitely helpful. Killing the flame tongue here, let's heal back. Play the shadow form so we can deal two damage. Right now there is not much to kill, but we will use it on the Healing told him and hit him for one in the face, so he's down to 27. Not able to kill us here, so no problem. The Arizona Commander would allow us to play the hero power two times next turn. Lightning Storm. I'm gonna kill it rather. And this one is going down. Potion of Madness, not the right target currently on the board. So could it drop the Confessor and the Commander. This would allow us to drop two, two Legendaries on the board, which is really great. Also, we're getting rid of the Jade Golem here. Only the first one. So what do we have? Malco Rock, that's a great one. Maybe we find even Leo Jenkins and then we can kill the 5-5 five five here as well. That would be great. Let's see. It is... Ooh, the Fire Lord. That's a good one. So hopefully you kill one of the units. Ooh, yeah, the 5-5. Five five. So he's not even able, and as I can see, he's not even able to kill the Palettas. That was a great move. Let's try again. Getting a Varia here as an opponent, which is another um, aggressive matchup. Definitely keeping the Shadow of Pain and maybe the Greater Healing Potion. But we could also just go heavily for Reno Jackson. Mm, yeah, let's keep the Greater Healing Potion. What a Cold Rider and the Holy Nova. The Cold Rider shouldn't be that great in this matchup. We just need to survive here. And the Cold Rider is more valuable in control matchups where you can create more and more quarters. And luckily, he was not playing anything on turn one. So that's a good sign. Dirty Red. Wow, he's playing control and he's giving us the Cold Rider. Thank you. That's really nice of him. Oh yeah, concede. Priest versus Mage. So what can we expect here? We can expect a Reno Mage. Obviously, there are not that many. Uh, there are not that many Tempo Mages on the ladder, if all. So starting hand. Don't like it right now. We might keep the Cabal Talon Priest. Don't want the Garrison Commander here early on. We might keep that. Just as a body. Have something to play on turn 2. For the Cabal Talon Priest. Otherwise... And we're definitely keeping the Rada. The matchup should be slow enough that we are not in trouble getting the Confessor Politus. And Daksha Alchemist again. Why am I even mulligan? Mind if I roll oh, there's a loot hoarder. Interesting choice. So, are you playing maybe freeze mage? Hopefully not. That could be a problem. Yeah, hit that. Let's take out the garrison commander. 
with the fire blast. Oh, that flame call. Okay, so that is definitely not a freeze mage. That is a Reno mage. And yeah, we got Reno Jackson. Gonna drop that Cabal Talon Priest here. And then next turn, use the coin for the rather the chained. Getting that out as fast as possible. So we can heal back the Cabal Talon Priest. Oh, also Kalakos is nice. We're taking out the Twilight Flame Caller, healing back the Cabal Talon Priest for free. We might then use the Water Elemental to kill that Cabal Talon Priest along with the Hero Power. So that means he only has three mana left to play. Hmm, going for the Torch. Why would you play the Torch on that? Or you can just trade. Well, anyway, I will buy the wanna hit that, we are dropping the Just Alchemist, healing the rather back to full life, and healing back to 27. You want it? I got it. Bonjura, he's discovering another spell. Hopefully nothing too great. Another three in the face, Thought Steel, very good. We might find some decent cards here. Oh, that's a... Oh, Dirty Rat. And a Volcanic Potion. Well, that's definitely decent. I'm uh, not sure if I want to drop the Dirty Rat right now. Probably not. So we could potentially clear most of the stuff with the Darkshire Alchemist. So... Yeah. Why not? Let's go for the Dirty Rat. Do that. Yay, got the Kazakos. Which is really good. And don't concede. 